Hi, this is Tom from Ninja Bunny Crochet. Today I have for us to do this Jack Lantern dog bandana. This particular size is the small size. I do have changes for the extra small, medium, and large. This small size will fit a Shih Tzu. He is 18 pounds. He's the one in the thumbnail. And I do have the changes for the extra small, medium, and large, which I will go over with as we go into the video. I made this using some acrylic worsted weight yarn. I used Red Heart Super Saver. You can use whatever um, medium for yarn you wish to use. I would suggest using an acrylic simply because it washes up pretty nicely. So the colors that I used for the orange, I used pumpkin, makes sense. And for the green, I used patty green. And then I just had some leftover black, which it is a medium for, I do believe it is Red Art Super Saver. It could be a Karen One Pounder, but it is a medium for acrylic yarn. The hooks sizes that I used for the bandana itself, let me see here. I used an H 5.0 millimeter hook, and then for the parts for the face, the eyes and the mouth, I used a G 4.0 millimeter hook. You will want some pins to pin your face parts on before you sew them. And oops, yarn needle to weave in your ends. A pair of scissors. And you might want to have a couple of stitch markers on hand just in case. So once you have all of your supplies together, let's get started. For today's tutorial, we're going to start with our H 5.0 millimeter hook. I'm going to be demonstrating the extra small size. I will go over the changes for the other sizes as we go along. Each size, for each size, they start out exactly the same. So we're going to start with a chain of four. So one, two, three, and four. Starting fourth chain from hook, the loop on your hook does not count as a stitch. So one, two, three, and four. We're going to put four double crochets into that fourth chain or the first chain that we made. So one, two, three, and four. So now we have five double crochets. To start row two, we're going to chain three. And that chain three is going to count as a stitch. We're going to place a double crochet right into that same stitch that the chain three is coming out of. So we're going to have two double crochets on the end there. And we're going to put one double crochet into the next three stitches. So that's one, two, and three. And then into that beginning chain three, we're going to put two double crochets. One, and two. So now we now have seven double crochets. For row three, chain up three. One, two, three. Turn the work. I'm just going to repeat the same thing. Pull out a little more yarn. I'm going to go right into that same stitch 
the chain three is coming out of and place a double crochet. Then in the next five stitches, we're going to put one double crochet. So one, two, three, four, and five. In that top of that chain three, we place two double crochets. One and two. So each row is going to start with a chain three and a double crochet into the same stitch. So one, two, three, turn the work and double crochet back into that same stitch. Then you're going to double crochet one into, one into each stitch to the last stitch and that's where you're going to place two double crochets. So this would be row four. So we're going to double crochet into the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And in that last chain three, top of that chain three, which is our last stitch, we put two double crochets. And that So that is the end of row four. So we're going to continue working that same pattern from row four to row nine. And at row nine, we'll complete the extra small size. To go to for the small size, you're going to continue working the same pattern to get to row 12. If you're working the medium size, you're going to continue to row 15. If you're working the large size, you're going to continue to get to row 18. I'm at the end of row 9. I have 21 stitches. This is for the extra small size. For the small size, you'll be at the end of row 12 with 27 stitches. Medium, 33 stitches at the end of row 15. The large size, you'll be at the end of row 18 with 39 stitches. Now to start the edging, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn the work and we're going to be working down the sides of the rows. Going to be working single crochets evenly down the sides, down those ends of the rows. Try to get them into the stitches the best you can versus into the holes. It'll make it look a little bit nicer and a little neater, but it's up to you. Sometimes you can't help but put it into the hole. So continue working single crochet all the way around your bandana until you get back up to the other side and that's where you're going to stop. I've made it all the way back around and we're going to go ahead and fasten right off. Get our yarn needle and we're going to weave in this tail. So 
just need to weave it in under a few stitches. Back and forth. There we go, just a couple of times. And we can go ahead and snip it off. Just like that. Now we're ready to start our top edge. So we're going to get out our green yarn. And it doesn't matter which side you start on. Go ahead and attach your yarn with a slip stitch. And chain 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And we're going to go ahead and fasten that off. Just like that. So you just have a chain there. Turn the work. And we're going to go ahead and fasten our yarn onto the other side. We need to find the end right here. And this side we're going to chain 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. The chain of 20 and 21 is for the small, the extra small and small size. If you're working on the medium or the large size, you're going to do 25 and 26. Mm -hmm. Once you have your chain of 21 or 26, we're going to go second chain from hook and single crochet. And we're going to single crochet in each one of the chains. So continue working one single crochet into each chain. When you get to the collar, work one single crochet across the collar. And then when you get to the chain over here, you're going to also work one single crochet into each chain all the way to the end of the other chain. I will meet back up with you at the end of this chain. Get it all the way over to the other side. Now I have 61 stitches for the extra small size. You should have 67 stitches for the small, 83 for the medium, 89 for the large. Now don't worry if you have an extra stitch or two or you're missing a stitch or two along the collar and the strap here. It doesn't matter. It's not going to make much difference. Just as long as it looks nice and balanced, I wouldn't worry too much about it. So to start row two, you're just going to chain one, turn the work, and we're going to put one single crochet into each stitch 
all the way back across the collar. For the medium and the large size, you're going to repeat this again and put a third row on. Unless you feel that this strap is a wide enough strap, then you can just stop with two rows for the medium and the large size. Or if you feel that you want a little bit larger strap tie for, their, for your size, you can go ahead and put a third row on or even a fourth row on. But I wouldn't put more than two rows on for your extra small and your small size because of the size of the dog. You don't want too thick of a strap. So continue putting your single crochets all the way across and if you want to add that extra row or two on for the larger sizes go ahead and take care of that too. We're just going to fasten off at the end and weave in our ends and our actual collar bandana is done. The next we're going to be working on is the face. Here's the completed bandana and all of our ends are woven in. So we're going to go ahead and set this aside and work on the face. So we're going to get out our black yarn and our G-hook. Let's bring this down. Now I know black yarn is going to be a little bit hard to see, but I'll do my best here. So to start the eyes, we're going to do a chain two, and in that second chain, put two single crochets, one and two. Chain one, turn the work, and put two single crochets into each stitch, so one, two, and get in there. Make sure you get into both loops. There you go. One, two. Chain one, turn. That first stitch, you're going to put two single crochets. One and two. And one single crochet in the next two stitches. One, two, and then the last stitch, two single crochets. And for the small size eye, that's all you need to do. Fasten off, leave a nice long tail for sewing. For the medium and large size, you're going to chain one, turn the work, two single crochets and one single crochet into the next four stitches, two single crochets into the last, you'll have eight stitches and then fasten off because you want just a slightly bigger eye for the medium and the large size. But Since I'm doing the extra small I'm going to go ahead and fasten off right now. So you're going to want to make two of these eyes. I already have one made from previous, so now I have two. So I'm going to set these aside and we're going to work on the mouth. So to do the mouth, we're still working with our G hook. We're going to chain 21. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. And second chain from hook, loop on your hook does not count as a stitch, one, two, you're going to put two single crochets, one and two, 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 two. 
Then we're going to put one single crochet into the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. Skip the next two stitches, one, two, and do four and single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. In the next stitch, we're going to put three single crochets. One, two, and three. And the next four stitches, one single crochet. One, two, three, and four. Skip two stitches, and in the last two stitches, we're going to single crochet. One, it off and leave a nice long tail so that we can sew our mouth onto our bandana. So we have that wavy look to our mouth. Now we need to do the curly cue for the stem. So again with our G hook and this time with our green yarn, we're going to chain 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And starting second chain from hook, again, the loop on your hook does not count as a stitch. One, two, we're going to put two single crochets. Put two single crochets into each stitch. And this should, after a couple of stitches of putting two single crochets into each chain, should start curling around. It's already, you can see it's already starting to curl. So the mouth and the stem are the same size for each of the bandana sizes. Of course, if you want to make your stem a little bit bigger, you, you're very welcome to do that. And if you want your mouth a little bit longer, you're welcome to do that too. You just have to follow the pattern to make it a little bit longer. Make sure you do two stitches. In each one, otherwise it will stop curling. We want it to curl. Fasten that off and 
leave a nice long tail. So there we go. So now we have our little curly pumpkin stem. So we're going to pin everything together and I'll show you how to sew it together. Hey, okay, now once you have everything pinned together, all you have to do is just take your thread up your yarn needle and just start stitching it together, start stitching it on. I said I like to pin it together first because then I know exactly where everything is placed and I got it the way I like it to look and then just sew it on a couple of stitches at a time you can take your time when you're doing it make sure you got everything right where you want it everything together just like that I'll just continue sewing these on and I'll meet back up with you once everything's sewn together so here's the extra small one that we just did together and here is the small that my dog was wearing in the thumbnail so here's our completed bandanas so if you've liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that bell. Thanks for watching and happy crocheting. Bye-bye.